My name's Keith Kramer. I grew up in Hopkinton. I was always involved in a lot of volunteer activities. I was on the Hopkinton Ambulance Crew for 17 years, Hopkinton Lions Club for 24 years, also very active in different things at McCorkin Valley Schools. And then I happened to see the Sleep in Heavenly Peace in its first bulletin about no kids will ever sleep on the floor in our towns to realize that there's actually kids that don't have a bed in our area in Delaware County. You always think that's a project that's in your bigger communities, urban, the urban, urban areas, but it's truly here. The amount of sleep that these kids are missing when they're on the edge of a couch or they're on an old mattress on the floor, you know they're not sleeping right. You know they're not eating right. And so how are they gonna learn anything when they go to school the next morning? Sleep in Heavenly Peace started out in Twin Falls, Idaho, and they built one bed, and it was a church project, one bed. And now there's over 96,000 beds they have built through these different chapters. There's 240 chapters across the United States, and that was two years ago. We were the fourth one in Iowa. And since that time, there's now 11 chapters in, in Iowa as we continue to spread the word of what we're trying to do. All the money that we raise continues to stay just in our uh, chapter here. We've delivered one bed to houses. We've been up to five beds in a house. But when we go to make beds, we put a request out and we'll have 40 or 50 people that will show up in a heartbeat to help with this project. When we make the beds, they're all set up in pieces so that when we actually go out to build the beds, we can build these beds in eight to, eight to 10 minutes a piece. But with the bed, we also have the new mattress, new sheets, new quilts, and new pillows. We don't use anything slightly used. A lot of the quilts are made by church groups in the area. The more people we get involved in it, the more the word spreads of what we need to do. I can lead, but it takes a lot of volunteers to make this work. I've never been so energized in my life as I have the last year or two. Again, I've done volunteer work for years, but nothing like this one. When you see the kids and you get to deliver beds and you see the smiles, there's hope there. There's hope for the future.